This is Rick Weaver with Henry Barrow back at Chase Stadium in New York. The Dolphins shooting for their sixth in a row. Their seventh consecutive, uh, their sixth in a row and their record of seven and one. They have won 23 out of their last 24. Lights are on here at Chase Stadium, but it's a beautiful afternoon. Morris and Lee back deep. Outfield gets ready as the official's whistle is sounded. Outfield comes forward, gets his toe into the ball. He drills it high and deep back into the end zone. It's out of the end zone. No run back. A touchback, and the Dolphins will start from their own 20-yard line. Defensively, Richard Neal, John Little, John Elliott, Mark Lomas. The front four, Baker, Ebersole, and uh, Spicer, the linebackers. Howell and Thomas, the cornerback. Parasopoulos and Owen are the safeties. The Dolphins have Kick and Bronca as the, uh, as the back, and Greasy is the quarterback. Both wide receivers are split to the near side, and now we get a whistle, and uh, what is this going to be all, all about? Somebody moved in the interior of the Dolphins' offensive line, and we get an illegal procedure call against Miami. Here's the handoff to Morris. Throw a hole on the left side, gets out to about the 18-yard line. Second down and 12. Dolphins from the 18. Greasy hands to Zon. Sweeps to the near side. Turns the corner. Flag on the play. He's across the 25 and out of bounds. Right there. Down the near side of the field. But there's a flag. And we get a defensive offside call against New York. Larry Little conferring with the official. And the Dolphins will take the penalty. They will lose two yards on Zonka's gain. But they will retain possession of the down. And that will make it uh, a second down coming up. And the ball is inside of uh, the, or across the 20-yard line, and we have about seven yards to go. Second down and seven for Miami. The ball at their 23-yard line. Here's the handoff. Zonka over the right side, and horse caught it at the 24 after a gain of a yard. It'll be third down and six. Miami football at their 24-yard line. Third down conversion. The first one of the ball game. Somebody moves for the Dolphins. No flag. Here's a pass across the middle. It is caught by Jim Kick across the 35, and he's knocked down at the Dolphins' 36-yard line. And that is good for a Miami first down. A 12-yard pickup. Greasy completes the gym kick out of the backfield. Dolphins first down at their 36. So Greasy is one for one in his third down conversion. Greasy a couple of steps back. Fires an out pattern to the far side. Frisco puts the juke step on the quarterback. He doesn't buy it. And drops him up at about the 45, perhaps the 46. And that's going to be close to another first down. That's good for a first down as Greasy hits Frisco. And a slant out to the far side, 10 yards, and the Dolphins have the ball at their 46. Here's a handoff to Burke over the right side, back to his left. He's across the 50 and down in the Jets territory at about the 49-yard line. The gain of five for Mercury Morris. That'll bring up a second down and five. Burke into the ball game has the best rushing average per carry of any back in the National Football League. He is carrying at an average of seven yards every time he runs with a football. O.J., of course, is number two. For Miami, Greasy drops a couple of steps back, looking for the near side. Warfield got it and falls down with it out of bounds at about the 43-yard line. Paul Warfield is Greasy scissoring the Jets defense, throwing underneath that uh, defense from side to side. And pretty soon, he's thrown one in the middle to kick, and pretty soon, he's going to try to go deep. The ball is down at the 42-yard line, and that's another Miami first down. The game is just underway. 11 minutes, 35 seconds left to go in this first quarter. Zorka, big hole to 45, 30, and he's brought down from behind at the 30 to the 29-yard line. Chris Parasopoulos, the free safety, locked those arms around Larry's turning legs and held on for dear life as Zonka busted through a big hole in the middle, cut back to his left, and rambles for another Miami first down. The ball now at the Jets' 30-yard line. Here's the pitch going to Zonka, sweeps to the near side of the field. He gets the corner turn barely and is knocked off his feet after a three-yard gain at the 27 down along the near sideline by rookie linebacker Rob Spicer. A second down and seven. Dolphins football at the Jets' 27-yard line. Briscoe splits to the far side, Warfield on the near side. Greasy drops a couple of steps back, looking the out pattern on the far side, over thrown off the hand. Uh, Briscoe down at the 20, incomplete. So that brings up a third down and seven, and Jim Mandich comes into the ball game at a tight end spot, replacing Mar Fleming. Mandich has had several great ball games, and he, along with Warfield and Briscoe, are the principal receivers for the Dolphins this year. He is one of the few tight ends in the league that has the ability to go deep, and he has caught three touchdown passes. Back to throw goes Greasy, has time, fires, kick, he's got it, 20, he's got the first down inside the 20 to the 19-yard line. Rob Spicer contained him, Jim kick. 
Whooping out to the near side of the field, out of the backfield, caught the ball, a great reception as Greasy tossed it up over the onrush of the uh, front four of the Jets. And kick is dropped to the 19-yard line. That's good for another Miami first down. Greasy is two for two in the third down conversion department. Jim Kick and Mercury Morris are alternating on almost every play. Don Shula is really going with his three-back offense today. Greasy thus far in the ball game has uh, completed four out of five passes. A first down Miami at the Jets 19-yard line. This drive is consuming, consuming uh, a lot of time also. Here's a handoff on the trap over the right side. 15-10 Morris out of the five. He scores! Mercury Morris, a hole on the right side, big enough for a an armored division to drive through. And he gets some fancy stepping, jumping over people down inside the five and rambles in for his seventh touchdown of the season. Just a beautifully engineered drive by Bob Gracie that consumed five minutes and 44 seconds, 80 yards, 11 plays, Mercury Morris. Through a gaping hole on the right side, a 19-yard scamper. Your premium converts at 7 to nothing with 9.16 to go in the first quarter. Boozer and Riggins, the running backs. Woodall is the quarterback. Atkins and Barkham are the wide receivers. And watch Rich Caster, number 88, the big tight end. They'll try to go him as, to him as often as they can this afternoon. Miami going in, permitting just 126 yards on the ground to the opposition and 96 yards through the air. And the uh, Jets moving the ball in their own right. Fourth down and a half yard. You can hear the fans setting up the howl in the background to go, go, go. And they are going to go for it. The ball at the uh, 48-yard line. Fourth down, less than a yard. Riggins and uh, Boozer remain the split back behind Woodall. Woodall will sneak it. I don't know whether he made it or not. He hits the middle and gets out to about the 49-yard line. It is the first down as they on file. The fans applaud the effort. Al Woodall, the quarterback, sneaks for the first down. He is 6'5", 195 pounds, third down and four from the Dolphins 44. Woodall drops the throw. He looks around, fires a pass, and is dropped. Riggins out in the flat again by himself, covering on the play with Doug Swift. Riggins just plain dropped the football. So that'll bring up a fourth down situation, and Bobby Howfield will come in to try a field goal. A 50-yard attempt by Bobby Howfield near the south end. The wind should not be a factor. Here's the snap, set down, the kick is partially blocked. He squibs it, rolling loose, and it's going to roll into the end zone. It'll go for a touchback. And the Dolphins, following the missed field goal by Howfield of some 50 yards, will start from their 20-yard line. The Jets control the ball for 12 plays on that drive before the, the uh, kick was missed. There's a timeout on the field. Dolphin football action continues from Chase Stadium in New York with a score of Miami 7. The Jets nothing. And there is the end of the first period. No time left to play in the first quarter. Dolphin action continues from Chase Stadium in New York with a score of Miami 7. And the Jets nothing. That'll bring up a third down and 17 for the Dolphins. Greasy is four for four in the third down conversion department. The ball is the Jets 42. Big third down conversion for Greasy. Drops the throw. The penetration is in on him and he dumps the line. Back at the 46 yard line. The Dolphin quarterbacks have been sacked nine times. And the ball is marked down back at the 46 yard line and Yepremian is going to try a field goal. This will be an approximate 53-yard attempt. If he makes it, he will equal his longest field goal kick of the year, that in the opening game against San Francisco. Here's the kick. It is blocked. Rolling loose at the 40. Grab at the 45 to the 50-yard line. And out of bounds. Steve Cannon is the man who blocked it. Dallas Howell is the man who came up with it. And so the Jets block a girl, your premium field goal attempt. Uh, that block was accredited to John Mooring, number 71, and not Steve Cannon. Dallas Howell, as we call it, did run it back. The Jets coming out with excellent field position off the block field goal. The Dolphins on that drive control the ball for 10 plays. They drove from their own 20 to the Jets' 42. There's a timeout on the field. Dolphin football action continues from Shea Stadium in New York with a score of Miami 7, the Jets nothing. So they mark it back to the 28-yard line. That'll bring up a second down and 10 for the Jets to Miami 28. Woodall sets his ball up, drops a couple of steps back to throw, fires deep down the near corner. It is caught out of bounds at the 7-yard line is Parker, a great catch. Jerome 
Bartram, who is six feet four, 212 pounds, number 83, second year man from Jackson State. Jake Scott wrestled him out of bounds, but not before. Woodall hits him with a 21 yard strike, and the Jets have a first and goal down at the far end of the field at the Dolphins' seven yard line. With nine minutes and 57 seconds left to go in this first half. Miami seven to nothing lead in jeopardy now. So put it on the one yard line. It will be third down and goal to go. The ball at the Dolphins one yard line. The Dolphins digging in. Down in the trenches. Boozer and Riggins split in behind. Now they interchange positions. Woodall sets his ball club. Here's the handoff. Riggins, a hole to the right side. He's in for the touchdown. John Riggins was hit at the line of scrimmage, one off the tackle, and vaulted into the end zone. A 50-yard drive in nine plays. Eight minutes, 31 seconds left to go in the first half. Dolphin football action continues from Chase Stadium in New York with the score. Miami 7, New York 7. Here's how field forward gets the toe and a sliver off the dirt park. It'll be touched by one of the blocking wall. Bob Matheson picks it up to 20, 25. Loses the ball. And at the 27, the Jets recover. Recovered by Mike Adamley. Mike Adamley is the man who recovered it. It was not Matheson, it was Bruce Bannon who picked up the football on the blocking wall for the Dolphins, number 58, the rookie from Penn State. He was hit, jarred, uh, the ball jarred loose, and Mike Adamley, a running back on the Jets special teams, recovers, and the Jets come up with excellent field position. All right, the ball at the Dolphins 27-yard line is second down and 10. Eight minutes, 13 seconds to go in the first half. The score is tied 7-7. Boozer and Riggin split in behind uh, Woodall. Here comes a blitz. Woodall gets the pass away and is caught at the 20-yard line by Riggins. Spins off the tackle 15 down to the 12-yard line. Dick Bolaconi had a blitz going that time. He was two times. Double-team block, but got through and was just about to lower the boom on Woodall as he got the pass away. Riggins caught it over the middle and is inside the 15 down to the 12-yard line for a first down. And the Jets are with... Uh, in knocking range again. A ball at the Dolphins 12. Gain of 15 on that uh, pickup. And that'll bring up a third down. And we'll call it four. The ball is at the Dolphins 6. They have six yards to go for a TD, four yards to go for a first down. Woodall sets his team, ready to go to work, drops back to throw. Flag down, here's the out pattern. It is intercepted, or knocked away by the Dolphins. And there's a big argument going on over there. The man who caught it, Kemp Foley, is hollering that he intercepted the ball. The officials don't allow it. There's a flag down in the far corner of the field. Now let's see if they call interference. Maybe that's what Foley was so upset about. It was offside against the Dolphins. Nothing to do with Foley. He was upset when he had, uh, thought he had an interception. So the Dolphins are called half the distance. They marked the ball at the three-yard line. It's third down and goal. From the three and a yard to go for a first down. Three is in to assist for the blocking up front. Here's Riggins through the middle. He's got a touchdown. John Riggins having his best day on the ground. And this is reminiscent of what happened to the Dolphins last week in the first half against the New England Patriots. The Patriots, as you recall, went to the dressing room with a 14-13 lead. Dolphins making mistakes. 27 yards, six plays on the drive. Riggins scoring from three yards out. Dolphins football action continues from Shea Stadium in New York with a score. The Jets 14, the Dolphins 7. All right, uh, Morris and Lee are deep. Howfield comes forward, kicking off the dirt again. This time he gets it up in the air. It's a short kick. At the 12 is Mercury, 15 to the 20. 25, cuts that side, turns the corner, 30, 35, up to the 40 and rolled out of bounds. At the 42-yard line, an excellent return of some 31 yards by Mercury Morris, and that's exactly what the Dolphins wanted. Greasy in third down conversions this afternoon is four out of five. Here he has a third down. The ball at the 43-yard uh, line. They have to get it down into Jet territory at about the 48. Deep drop by Bob, firing deep over the middle. Warfield got it. He's knocked out immediately at the Jets' 40-yard line. First down, Miami from the Jets' 40-yard line. 
Here's the pitch to Mercury. Sweep to the right. Cuts back to his left. He is caught, and he's not going to get very much to the 39. The uh, defensive penetration got in there between he and his blocking, and Early Thomas, the right quarterback, number 45, is the man who contained him on the play. The officials marked the ball at the 38-yard line. When you get down into the skin part of the diamond, the uh, yard markers begin to wear away. Sometimes it's hard to tell exactly where it is. All right, the ball at the Jets 38-yard line. It's second down, and we'll call it eight. Warfield spreads to the far side. Briscoe to the near side. Morris and Zonka, the split back. In behind Greasy from the Jets 38-yard line. They have to get just inside the 30 for a first down. Greasy back to throw. He fires across the middle. Intercepted by the linebacker Spicer. 30, 35. He is knocked down up the New York 40-yard line. The pass was intended, I believe, for Jim Mandich up the middle. And Spicer, the big rookie from Indiana, number 59, picked it off and returned some 10 yards. 357 is the official time left to play in the first half of the ball game. From the 40, here's the handoff. Riggins, left side, puts his head down and booms his way out to about the 44-yard line. A gain of some four yards. And that'll make it a second down and uh, six coming up. Nick Bodicani on the tackle. Here's the handoff. Riggins bouncing off people. Fumbles the ball. Miami's got it, I believe. Dolphins recover. Dolphins recover at the Jets 43-yard line. And I believe it was Bob Hines. Bob Hines, number 72, is the man who fell on it. It was jarred loose from Riggins' grasp. And uh, the Dolphins take it right back as the Jets commit a turnover. And the Dolphins have it up the Jets' 43-yard line with 2 minutes and 38 seconds left to play in this first half. Heads up football by the Dolphins' defense there. Greasy has the offense right back on again. The ball at the 43-yard line in Jets' territory. Here's the snap. The pitch goes to Morris. Sweeps to the right behind middle. He is not going to get very much as he boomed out of bounds right in front of the Dolphins' bench. And being knocked down is one of the sideline officials down there. Morris tried to hold himself, but he barreled right into this guy and knocked him flat. That's not the man to knock down. That was the team doctor. Octa Virgin. There's a flag on the play and a penalty against the uh, Jets defensive offside. The Dolphins will decide to take it. Doc took a pretty good shot. Bounced right back up. Ball at the 40, uh, check it, the 39-yard line following the penalty. First down and five for Miami at the Jets uh, 39. Warfield to the far side. Zonka flat man left. Risco puts near side. Here's that counter back to the near side again. Zonka football. And a flag on the play, and the Jets recover the ball at the 38-yard line, but there's a flag down on the far side of the field. And it may be against New York, and if that's the case, the Dolphins will retain possession of the football. That is the initial indication, but we'll wait for a double check on it. The uh, referee, Fred Wyatt, signifies the penalty defensive offside against New York. <laughs> the the uh, Dolphins really come out of that one smelling like a rose. Not only did they, they get the ball back, and the officials did not blown the play dead, but they get a penalty out of it. And they also pick up a first down. So we can't get a score after all these breaks by... Uh, <laughs> the ball is at the 34-yard line. Bob drops back to throw, sets up, swings the screen out, kick has got it, 35, 30 up the far side, 25, puts his head down and rams his way for two additional yards at the 23 before he has popped out of bounds at the 23-yard line, and that uh, should be good enough for another Miami first down or close to it. A gain of some 11 yards as kick has been uh, a primary receiver for the Dolphins this afternoon. He has caught the football, a total of uh, three times, picked up 40 yards. First down for Miami. The ball of the Jets, 23-yard line. Morris and Zonka, the split back. Somebody jumps from the Jets, does not get back in time. Greasy throws the out pattern to Briscoe along the near side. He's got it inside the 15, down to about the 12. There is a flag, and uh, probably defensive offside will be the call again against New York. Another gain of 11. The penalty is declined. Defensive offsides against New York. Declined. The Dolphins take the uh, gain of the down and have a first down at the 12-yard line. We have two minutes and nine seconds left to go in this first half. Morris has scored the Dolphins' only touchdown, and Zonka are the putback. Larry is in his three-point stance right on the pitcher's mound. Greasy on the snap. Hands off inside. Trap to Morris. He bangs for about the 10, just inside the 10. A flag! After the play had been blown dead, and we're going to get uh, 
a face mask, and that's an automatic first down plus five yards against New York. On the tackle on Morris, somebody grabbed him on the face mask. So the penalty will give the Dolphins an automatic first down plus five. They will have a first down at the New York Jets five-yard line. We have a minute and 59 seconds going on the clock, and that's the two-minute warning. Dolphin football action continues from Chase Stadium with a score, the Jets 14, Miami 7. First and goal now for the Dolphins at the Jets five-yard line. Here's the handoff for us over the right side. He will get only a yard as he is met by about four green shirts. John Eversole, the middle linebacker, along with Ed Gallagher, the defensive left end, and Dallas Howell, the left cornerback, also in on the stop. We'll call it second down and goal for the Dolphins from the Jets four. Now Miami almost has to get in for a TD here to give them momentum and get them back into the ball game going to the dressing room. We have a minute and 53 seconds to go. Second and goal from the four-yard line. The Dolphins with the... Uh, Two tight end system in there. Morris and Zonka are the split back. In behind Greasy from the Jets' four-yard line. Waiting for the snap from center is uh, Bob. He spins, hands to Morris. Sweeps to the left side. Gets the corner turn. He's the two, the one. Touchdown, Dolphin. Berkeley Morris puts the ball into the ground. And he gets his second TD. He's booed by the fans in the end zone, but he doesn't care. He got what he went in uh, there for, his second touchdown of the ball game, and uh, the Dolphins now are trailing by only one. Morris has now picked up his uh, eighth TD of the season. That wasn't a fancy dance-type run that Mercury Morris is famous for, but that was one of the most determined efforts I've seen the Merc make. Just the sweep, and he cut back, and nobody was going to deny him permission getting in. 44-yard drive in seven plays. Morris from four yards out. And it's tied up 14 to 14 with a minute and 35 seconds left to go in this first half. The holding penalty is the decline. The Dolphins take the down will force a punting situation with fourth down and long yardage. And we have 18 seconds left to play in the first half. Now Jake Scott goes back as the deep man, Dick Anderson the shallow man, and Julian Fagan will come in for the first time to punt. This will be the first punt of the ball game for either side today. He's averaging 38 yards, 38 and a half yards per kick. Line of scrimmage, the 47 in Jets territory. He stands at the 32. Here's the snap, a little bit high, pulls it down, gets it out of there, and booms off a nice high spiral deep back. Here's Scott at the 10. He's going to try to run with it. Comes to the near side. He is horse collar. Breaks up a tackle at the 5. Starts at the near side line of 15. The 20, the 25. Back by Jake Scott. Julian Fagan, the punter, brought him down. A 37 yard punt, a 33 yard return, and that's the last play in the first half. He almost broke it. That's the end of the first half with the score Dolphins 14, the Jets 14. Hey Stan, if you could own only one car, what would you choose? Considering price? Oh, considering everything price, styling, ride, handling. Camaro. A 74 Chevrolet Camaro. Yeah? How come? Well, it sure looks sensational. It, it's reasonably priced and practical. Fun to drive. And there are three Camaro models, you know. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Your basic Camaro Sport Coupe is a great value. Then there's the LT. LT? L for luxury, T for tour. Oh. LT offers a posh interior and rally wheels. Oh, but, but go on, go on. There's also the Z28, if you want added performance. But overall, what makes Camaro so special? Well, you see how Camaro looks? Poised, eager, like yeah. it's really relishing the thought of someone touching it. Yeah. Starting it uh -huh. and putting it into motion. Oh, yeah, I can see that. Well, the way Camaro looks, my friend, is the way Camaro goes. The 1974 Chevrolet Camaro. The way it looks is the way it goes. I think one of the most unusual statistics we see at halftime is the difference in the Dolphins' rushing statistics and in passing. So 110 yards passing to 65 rushing is not the normal game that the Miami Dolphins play offensively. And as you can hear, uh, the band is right down below us now as they have left the field and we're ready to go back into action. They marked the ball at the Dolphins' 42, so they got only two yards on the pass completion. That'll bring up a third down and eight. Now in third down conversions this afternoon, Woodall is two out of five. 
11-12 to go in the third quarter. The Jets trying to keep this drive alive. They have a third and eight from the Miami 42-yard line. Jumping is Stanfield as staggering the count was Woodall. Hands off to Boozer. Boozer is knocked down at the 39. He did not make enough for the first down. But Stanfield I, was offside, so whether or not he was lured off remains to be seen. But he did not get back in time. The illegal procedure call against New York is declined. So the Dolphins will take the down and bring up a fourth down situation. And here comes Howfield in. He is also one in the field goal department. The line of scrimmage where Boozer Gain is the 39. And he's going to be kicking off right on the rim, kicking off the uh, edge of the grass and dirt part. It will be a 46-yard attempt. Fagan is in, in the hold. He'll be kicking toward the north end of the field, waiting for the snap. Here it is, set down. The kick is up. He has the distance. It is no good. And bounced off uh, just him, the right upright. No good. Off to the kicker's right. So the Dolphins on the touchback will start from their 20-yard line. For the first down as Howfield now has missed a couple. The Jets drive on the uh, missed 46-yard field goal by Howfield. Eight plays, 33-yard, and Howfield missed from the 46-yard line. Dolphins ready to go to work from their 20-yard line. Moving from our left to our right. Warfield spreads far side, Frisco near side. Here's Mercury Morris. Finds a hole in the middle and squirts through up to about the 25-yard line. Gain of some five on the play. Ralph Baker, the left side linebacker, makes the tackle along with John Elliott. The ball at the 25-yard line. In Dolphins territory, a second down and five. Here is the snap, the handoff going to Zonka. Penetrates over the left side and booms his way out to just shy of the 30-yard line. Mark Lomas, the defensive right end, makes the tackle on the play. The ball at the Dolphins 30. They're just a little bit shy of a first down. It'll be third down and one. Here is the snap. Zonka outside to the left, turns the corner. He's got the first down and bangs his way out to almost the 40-yard line. Ten-yard ramble by... Big Larry, the tackle made by Ferrisopoulos, the free safety. And they mark it at the Dolphins, 39. Give them a gain of nine on the play. It'll be a first and ten for the Dolphins from their 39-yard line. Nine minutes and 13 seconds left to go in this uh, third quarter. The ball at the 39-yard line. Here is the handoff. Mercury through a hole left side, finds an opening, and he is knocked off his feet out across the 40 at the 44. He rambles for five. The ball is at the 44, second and five. Dolphins from their own territory. Greasy with a long count at the line of scrimmage. Drops back to throw. Couple of steps firing up the near side. Open Frisco. 45 puts the step on and is knocked down as he gets inside the 40-yard line down to about the 36-yard line. Frisco was wide open and he had slipped around the quarterback that time. Dallas Howell is the man who brought him down from behind. But not before the Dolphins pick up another first down as Greasy hits Marlon Briscoe, who is wide open down the near sideline, and they mark it at the Jets 37-yard line. Gain of 19 on the pass completion. First down Miami at the New York 37. The ball again on the skin part of the diamond. Just outside the uh, point of the diamond where the grass area and the dirt meet. First down, Miami from the Jets, 37-yard line. Greasy drops back to throw again. He's looking for Warfield, firing deep at the far side. He's got it, the 10, the back falls down. He's at the 5, touchdown, Miami. Early Thomas fell down. He was making the deep drop, single coverage on Warfield that time, and he had him covered. But just as the ball arrived, Paul took a step back, caught the ball, and it threw Mr. Thomas to the ground, and Warfield danced in on touch. So Greasy completes a 37-yard touchdown pass to Warfield. That for Bob is his 10th touchdown pass of the season for Warfield. His fifth TD reception. Uh, an 80-yard drive in six plays. And a 37-yard touchdown pass from Greasy to Warfield. Dolphin football action continues from Shea Stadium in New York with the score. The Dolphins 21, the Jets 14. Third down and four Jets from their 40-yard line. Woodall, long count at the line of scrimmage, sets his ball club. Now drops back to throw. As all day, fires the out pattern. It is caught, drop, incomplete. Right at the 44-yard line, Mike Cullen covered on the play. And the man for whom it was intended was Emerson Boozer, and the pass was thrown just a little bit behind him. So that'll bring up a punting situation. On fourth down, Fagan is in the punt. He'll stand at the 25. The line of scrimmage is the uh, 39 in Jets territory. Scott is deep. Anderson shallow. 
Dolphins lead 21 to 14. Here's the snap. He gets the kick out of there, hangs it high, not particularly deep. It'll bounce out of bounds down along the near sideline at the Dolphins 35 yard line. And so the Dolphins will start from there, from their 35. To Warfield, who caught a touchdown pass the last time the Dolphins had the ball. It's spread to the far side. Mercury Morris, the slot man right. Briscoe is the wide receiver to the near side. And Zonka is in behind Greasy. Here's the handoff to Zonk. Sweep to the right. Cuts back to his left. Finds a hole. Up across the 40 and booms his way out across the 40 to the 42-yard line. Zonka gets eight yards. The Dolphins have the ball at their 43. It's a second down and two. Greasy on the snap. Hands off. Quick track. Zonka through the hole on the left side. Out across the 45 to the 50. And in a great cloud of dust, he hits the dirt. John Elliott is the man who trips him up. Right at the midfield stripe. That's good for a uh, Miami first down. Dolphins leading 21 to 14. Three minutes and 22 seconds left to go in the third quarter. Dolphins with a first down. Briscoe switched to the near side. Morris sets as a wingman left, and Zonka the only back behind Greasy. Greasy play fakes to Zonka, drops deep. He has time, fires in the middle. It is caught by Briscoe. He is down to the 30, inside the 30, down to the 26-yard line. He caught the ball at the 35, and boy, was he open. And Miami on the move once again. Warfield spreads to the far side. To the near side, Briscoe kick is in. He's a slot man right. Zonka in behind Greasy. Here comes Warfield back in motion to the near side. The handoff to Zonk. Big hole right side, 25. Down to the 20. Carrying people with him. Knocked off his feet at the 15-yard line. Here's Larry Zonka. And a tremendous hole opened up by Larry Little, Norm Evans, and Marv Fleming. Good blocking off that right side that time. Another first down for the Dolphins. As Zonka picks up 11 yards and now has a total of 66 on the ground. And the Dolphins are beginning to find uh, and move that football. That offensive line is firing off now here uh, in the latter stages of the ball game with a minute and 51 seconds left to play in the third quarter. From the pitcher's mound, Zonka over the left side puts his head down and rams his way down to the 11-yard line. A five-yard game for Zonka. They mark it at the 12, so give him a gain of four to bring up second down and six. Dolphins with 12 yards to go for a TD and six yards to go for a first down. One minute, 13 seconds left to go in the third period. Greasy drops back right on the mound to throw. He fires from the near corner. It is incomplete. Intended for Zonka. Slanting out at the five-yard line. The ball thrown a little bit high. He was covered on the play by Ralph Baker, the left side linebacker, making his drop. Greasy, in his third down conversion department, is six out of seven. So he's had an excellent afternoon when the big play was needed. Kick and Zonka split in behind Greasy from the 12. Third down and six. Waiting for the snap is Bob. He drops again back on the pitcher's mound. Looking down the corner. It is. It hits the jet man. How in the back was intended for Frisco at the five-yard line. The slant out to uh, about the same area where Zonka was the intended receiver on the preceding play. The ball hit the defensive back in the back. So it's an incomplete pass, and Garrow will come in. And he's going to have to kick this one. Uh, it'll be about a 19-yard attempt right from on top of the pitcher's mound. Now, Garrow had bad luck from kicking farther out uh, a while back. 53-yard attempt from the dirt. Let's see what he does right off the dirt pitcher's mound here. A 20-yard attempt. Snap, shut down, the kick is up. He's got it up there this time. Perfect. So your premium gets three points on the board. And the Dolphins now move out to a 24-14 to 14 lead with the clock showing 51 seconds left to play in the third quarter. Now this game becomes even more reminiscent of last week's game when the Dolphins trailed by a score of 14-13 to 13 at halftime and then shut the Patriots out in the second half. And that's exactly what they've done throughout this third quarter. For the Jets, the score was 14-14 at halftime. Miami has done all the scoring here in the third period. Dolphins defense has taken over in this ball game. Miami leading by a score of 24 to 14. There's no more time left in the third quarter. That's the end of the third period. Dolphin football action will continue from Shea Stadium in New York with a score Miami 24 and New York 14. Through the third quarter, the Jets unofficially have 12 first downs to Miami's 19. Dolphins Bob Greasy 12 for 18 through the air, 188 yards. Rushing 120 yards for the Dolphins. Total offense 308 yards. For the Jets, Woodall has put the ball up 15 times, completed 10, 94 yards. Rushing yardage 102, total offense 196. 
Jets have the ball. Barkham flicks to the near side. Eddie Bell. Number seven is in the ball game. He's a slot man to the near side. Boozer and Riggins remain the running backs. The ball is the Jets 25. Third down and four for New York. Woodall drops back to throw on third down. He's getting pressure this time. Has to run with the ball. He is brought down from behind. And gets out just shy of what he will need for a first down. He was really trying to stretch for the yardage, and they're going to mark it about a yard away. Manny Fernandez made the tackle that saved the first down and forces the punt. The ball from the Dolphins, 34. Third down and 30. He drops the throw. Takes the screen to kick, fires to the near side. Dawkins got it. He's up across the uh, 40 and is knocked down at the 43-yard line. And that is not nearly enough yardage. As Zonka gets nine, they needed 30. And so Larry Seipel, for the first time this afternoon, will come into punt. 24-14, Dolphins with a 10-point lead. And uh, they will just try to hold out of the football here and run out the clock. The Dolphin defense has shut out the Jets in the second half as they did against New England last week. Second down and 10. For the Jets, the ball is there, 45. One minute, 11 seconds left to play. Here is Woodall, back to throw again. He has all day, fires up deep up the far side. This time it is intercepted by Dick Anderson. For the Dolphins, and he is out of bounds immediately back at the Dolphins' 21-yard line. So the long pass intended for Barkham is taken by Dick Anderson, and the Dolphins get their, their first interception of the ball game, their ninth of the season, and that's for Andy is third of the campaign. So that's about all as far as the Jets are concerned. And the Dolphins will just run the clock out now with a first down from their 21-yard line. The Dolphins have won their seventh game of the season, defeated the Jets for the second time, and have won their sixth straight. The Dolphins uh, will now have won 24 out of their last 25. And the Dolphins will just let the clock run out. Larry Little, the players are shaking hands down there. The Dolphins have won this one. 24 to 14, and Don Schiller has his 112th coaching career victory. Larry Zonka winds up with his 12th 100-yard game, 102 yards. All right, uh, here's the uh, final team stats. These are unofficial. First down for Miami, 20. So the Jets, 18. Passing yardage, Greasy, 13 of 19 with one TD. That's 37 yards to Warfield and one interception for 197 yards. Woodall, 18 of 27 with one interception. No touchdown passes. He passed for 156 yards. The Dolphins rushed for uh, 152 yards. Zonka got 102 of those for his uh, 12th 100-yard uh, rushing day in his career. Morris had 48, and Kick uh, winds up with 9, but there was also a minus on Briscoe's end around. The rushing yardage for the Jets, 109. Total offense for New York, 265 yards. Miami, 349. The final score again, Miami 24, the Jets 14.